Hello YouTube, this is Jordan White. Mm. Now, when I first heard that um, McDonald's was going to have another promo another toy line for the My Little Pony figures, this time targeting towards Rainbow Power, I was like, well, why not go to why not do unboxing video Two, like this, the sequel to my infamous 2012 unboxing McDonald's video. Well, um, it just didn't work out the way I wanted to, for several reasons. One, I could not film at, on at McDonald's at all. I think it wouldn't allow me to do it. Two, I complied. And I just did what I, uh, what some people recommended, and just, uh, say, hey, I'm gonna ask for the, the toys, like the whole set. But it turns out they only had, like, four. No, 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 four. They only had four of the McDonald's My Little Pony toys that they currently have. And next week, it looks like I'm gonna have to get the other four. Just by going over there again. Well, just get just getting the four toys, and and the meal kind of cost me like uh, thirteen dollars and twenty seven cents. Um, I can understand because you know these there's no such thing as a free lunch or free there's no such thing as a free lunch and. <laughs> I actually did get them in a plastic bag, but um, I can only get four. And not to mention, I couldn't even film on there. And I thought I could film myself playing with them, but I don't exactly have all the whole set. Um, so I ha I'm gonna have to make do with what I have. Just to make sure that um, that you get a good idea of what's going on with these new McDonald's Happy Meal toys. So sorry. Ugh. You know how difficult it is for these things to stand up on their own? Hang on, let me eat. Ah, there we go. I wish to get a better viewing angle from down here. Now, I... You know, just because of the fact that they're actually pushing this rainbow power, power thing, I feel they're really giving away what's inside the chest of harmony that popped up from the tree of harmony in the, the, the season 4 premiere, where uh, called Princess Twilight Sparkle. As a matter of fact, um, for a second I kind of thought they were gonna just. If Twilight's supposed to be a princess, then, um, does she have to wear a crown everywhere she goes? Nah. I'm not sure about Kane, though. I mean, they. She was able to walk through that, um, the Star Swirl, the Beauty Experiment exhibit and threes a crowd, but, um, she ne barely ever got noticed. I mean, look, by at least Twilight time made me real happy. I mean, Twilight actually got some sort of celebrity status, but I don't want, um, what happened, uh, in Twilight time to turn from just basically being some sort of town celebrity to something like a hard day's night. Uh, 
you know, with the Beatles, that they're, they're all running from those girls and stuff. Now let's take a look. I mean, what I will feel that what's inside these the test of honey is gonna give them rainbow power, and yet some. Um, and yet those keys aren't really keys at all. They they're just like basic items that just happen to have this little rainbow shimmer. I mean, they're just giving it away. Like, boom. Rainbow power. That that's what's gonna be inside the chest of harmony. But how are they gonna handle in the season four finale? I mean I don't want them to ruin my movie. Now let's take a look. Princess Celestia or Sun Butt or Moon actually Moon Butts, uh, I don't have Moon Butt yet. Or Luna. But Princess Celestia looks a little better than what she did in the last McDonald's entry, but I'm not exactly a hundred percent sure on that. Fluttershy? Pinkie Pie. Well, they new used a new resin for actually the new used a new model for Clyde Sparkle. But as for Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy, they've got nearly the same. They got the same model mold cast, whatever you like to call it. They're they're almost the same with the exception of these um. Oh, yellow highlights, a, a blue highlight right there. I don't know why on the marketing I keep on seeing how this rainbow power is supposed to make them look, uh, excuse me. I don't, I should see. Well, now I've just seen the toys, let's, uh, let's at least, uh, complicate what we saw. Um, if Rainbow Power is supposed to give these things a bunch of, a bunch of more highlights in the hairs and more sparkles all, and uh, weird colors all over their bodies, then that's not exactly the best for fashion. I mean, they look alright. I thought they looked alright without the rainbow power, but but why does why do the images on the rainbow power just make them look look uh, so crazy? Like um, like they want like they make their hairs and looks crazy and stuff. Like, jeez. This ain't the 80s. <laughs> uh, I mean, come on, you know, you know what what girls in the 80s did? They had ridiculous hair, and I actually love the 80s, <laughs> to be honest. In the 80s, they had ridiculous hair. They big hair, actually. They they colored it different ways. Um, it's almost like Jim and the Holograms. I never heard of that show until I totally searched for Hannah Montana Hologram because uh, there was this bad episode of Hannah Montana where a where a smartphone had a hologram come out of it. Like, why? Why we haven't even come to that technology yet? There's no. We haven't come to the technology where we a hologram pops up on our smart out of our smartphones and says help me Obi Wan Kenobi you're my only hope we haven't come to that yet I know they're developing it I know they're developing new te technologies every day but, but most of the time we're actually seeing increased resolution in smartphones not holograms popping out of it like a, some sort of sci-fi movie and Montana wasn't even sci-fi, and this article was comparing Jim and the Holograms to Hannah Montana, and that Jim and the Holograms in this Mild Pony line 
with all his colors in the hair and, oop, and stuff. They make me think of Jim and the Holograms, where they had all sorts of crazy colors in their hair. And yet, for some reason, they decided to make some sort of live-action movie, because, you know, the characters are humans, that they will work well with humans, and, you know... So why does Michael Bay have to ruin such great franchises that the... Does Michael Bay hate the 80s? I sure don't. I love it, the 80s. There's no way in God's great earth that um, I would ever hate that decade. Okay, so I believe that's my unboxing of the McDonald's Happy Meals toys. Except, um, I kind of forgot that um, each individual pony comes with their own sticker set to customize it, but I don't want to take that risk. Um, they're like they're like collectibles, you know? If you were like a toy collector or out there or something like that, and uh, or collect any toy that's ever based off of Marvel Comics or DC Comics or any, any sort of toy that's related to a video game, then you might as well preserve it and not play with them like any other like a kid would. So I'm not gonna bother putting stickers on these guys. Okay. That's for that's my unboxing of twenty fourteen My Little Pony Rainbow Power Toys part one. And when I get the next four entries into the category, look out for part two. Over and out.